Hi guys, I'm David with the Sephora Pro Team, and in this video, we're gonna be going over how to adjust your makeup, your foundation, to when you get a tan. So how do you achieve a warmer foundation without having to buy a whole new foundation? So there's a couple of ways to approach this. I would say the easiest way and probably the most common way is gonna be through a bronzer. So using a powder bronzer, just bronzing over you know, the foundation and warming it up or deepening it up. Um, but that's not always gonna work for everybody and sometimes other solutions are better served for skin types or skin tones. So those are the ways that I'm gonna kinda go into here and show you things that I use, that I use on clients or on set when I have to do this, when I have to adjust. So. I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of a foundation, just using a little bit of Makeup Forever here. It's a very light foundation. And one of my go-tos is a bronzer, but a liquid bronzer. So this is Do The Hula from Benefit. I'm in love with this product. It is sheer, it's a beautiful bronzing tone. It doesn't have any luminizers in it, so it's more of a matte finish. Um, and just a drop or two mixed with the foundation. So I'm literally putting in just a little bit, you can see there. Mixing that up automatically is going to deepen and warm up the color of the foundation. Now here's the thing, the reason that I really like this, I mean that really warmed it up just that little bit. So the reason that I like this a lot is because the formula of the Do The Hula will not alter your foundation formula. So if it's sheer, it's gonna remain sheer. It's not gonna add any coverage, it's not gonna add any dryness, it's not gonna change what you love about your foundation. Sometimes that can happen if you're using a lot of powder on your face. It can you know, dry it out or it can change the texture. So this is a great way to do it where you really retain what you love about your foundation, but you're just warming it up a little bit. Now, if you do like a glow, so some people really love that glow in the summertime. I do, I glow me out, glow me away. <laughs> but some people really like that. So a great um, sort of alternative to the matte aspect of the liquid bronzer from Hoola is something like Cover Effects. They have these bronzing enhancing drops and these have more of a shimmer to them. So these have more of a luminizing quality. So drop a couple of these into your foundation and it's gonna warm it up. It's gonna bring it to that nice tone that you have that you love. Plus it's gonna give you a little bit of that dewy glow. So that's something that we love, that I love. I mean, for me, summertime is all about dewy and glow. So those are great ways to use liquid bronzers. That's a really easy go-to. Plus you can use it all year round, honestly. I mean after you've, you know, summertime's done, you stop adding it to your foundation, then you just use it around the perimeter of your face. So you're never gonna waste the product. So another one to do is sprays. So sprays are really great for this. So they have spray bronzers. This is actually Sephora Collection Spray Foundation. So I like to have a spray foundation in deep tones in my kit because I can simply, like I can put foundation on somebody, and, oh, it needs to be deeper, and I can just dust it around the edge, or, add it to a brush. So you can just spray onto a brush, like so, and basically you can just warm up in really sheer tones. I mean, that was so quick and so sheer, and you really adjust it as you see fit. And again, you're not really gonna waste this. It's not gonna go to waste, because for the rest of the year, this can become your, your spray bronzer, your liquid bronzer, your contour. I use these for contours all the time. So it's a great way to do it, where you're using a product that you'll be able to keep in your you know, daily arsenal, even in the winter time. Now, one of the things that gets tricky is bronzing is warm. And then you have a large group of people who have pinker, neutral skin. Like my skin actually can fluctuate between warm and neutral. So I can't always go very warm if I'm using a bronzer, otherwise I start to look orange. And I know there's a huge amount of people out there who get tan and they're fair and they're like, I can't put a bronzer on because my skin is more pink, so I look crazy. So what do you do for that person? How do you deal with that? How do you darken them up, warm up, or, or deepen up their, their summertime foundation so they look matching without putting a bronzer? Because a bronzer is probably not gonna work. Well, one of the things that I love doing is using cream blushes. So Stila, they have the convertibles. These are amazing for doing this. I use these 
all the time. So it's a nice neutral. I think this one's the peony and then I also have camellia. So you can see one's a little pinker and one's a little bit warmer, but it, they're still neutral. And when you use these, so if you just rub them in, you're really gonna rub these in. You're gonna rub them through the exterior. It's still gonna have that skin-like effect. It's not gonna look like you're using powder blush all over your face, which can get a little funny looking. The cream will melt in with your foundation. So even though your foundation's a little light and that's what you're trying to do, you know, is change it. This cream will melt with it the same way the liquid bronzer did. So it'll give you that deeper, pinkier, neutral skin tone, so you won't look strange. Um, it won't look like you have orange skin. Um, and I really love the, uh, the camellia color. This is a great color, really, really good for neutral skin tones who just need to go a little deeper. Love this. Also, Makeup Forever has cream to powder blushes, and they also have neutral colors. This is the color 335, which I really like. Um, it's a very neutral tone and it's a cream. So again, it will mix really nicely with your foundations, but it'll end up in a more powdery finish. So this is great for some summertime, somebody who maybe gets a little oily. You can use this and you won't feel like your skin is too glowy, but it'll work the same way those cream um, cream blushes from Stila do. So this is a great little tip I use for those people in the pink to neutral tones. Now, finally, Summertime for me is you're getting tan, your skin looks amazing, show it off. Like this is a great time to love the skin you're in, feel beautiful, feel great, and maybe you don't need a full foundation. You know, at this point, you're probably glowing. You look fantastic. You're well rested. We all feel great in the summertime. So rather than buying a new foundation or even wearing the foundation that you were wearing for the whole winter and spring months, maybe all you need to do is get a good concealer. So something I, I like to recommend Doe Foots. So this is the Sephora Collection um, Gel Concealer, Bright Future Gel. So Anything with like a doe foot like this, usually light to medium coverage, which is great. And the reason for that is it tends to have a hydration to it, so it's not super dry. And what you can do, which I love doing this, and I highly recommend trying it at some point in your life just because I think it's going to open a whole nother door of makeup for you. Take some moisturizer, put a little bit of moisturizer. You can actually leave it like messy like this because what we want to do is take then some of our concealer. So I've got my concealer here and I'm literally just going to mix it with the moisturizer and I'm creating a custom foundation. So concealer has a lot more coverage at, on average than foundations do. So if you only purchase this one concealer, then you can create your foundation because you might only need a little bit. Maybe you have a little redness from a sunburn, so you cover a little bit with the sheared out, and then you'll use the concealer for under the eye or any imperfections and let your skin show. I mean, this is the point of the year where we want to look tan, we want to look beautiful. So sometimes I really think concealing is the way to go. It's, it's an easy answer and it lets your skin kind of have its moment in the spotlight. So don't forget that. Love the skin you're in, especially in the summertime because you all look beautiful. Okay, guys, so I hope this was helpful. I hope this answered some of the questions that you had. Um, please comment. Let me know how you guys like these tips, if you've tried them, what you think of them. I think that you're going to find there's a lot more than just simply bronzing when it comes to summertime makeup. So hopefully this helps. Don't forget to subscribe. We want you guys to see new videos from us every week, and we love bringing them to you. And until then, have a great summer. Enjoy and take care. Bye, guys.